Hey, Super Cool Dave here, just playing Transport Fever, and I'm going to show you how to get all five gold medals in the Island Paradise mission in the European campaign. If you just want to click Start Mission, we're going to close this box and just make sure the game is paused. We're going to need to click right there, close, the diner, close, brickworks, close, oil, finance drilling, jump to the left, Click on here, close, click on here, close. So it will unlock a bunch of extra missions and give you extra vehicles and stuff that you can use. We're then going to go to the bottom to the train station, click this one, clue at any rate, to this town, click, off to the next clue, to this town, mysterious, and then to the little tiny island. Outstanding. Right, now we have that done, we need to go to here and we need to get the coal set up and get started. So you want to go roads, small country town road, and all we're going to do is just connect that and connect this across. We need to put some truck stations in, like one there, I'm going to whack one on the end here. And we're going to whack one just here, just opposite this. We need to put a depot in, just there we we'll do. Click on here, buy road vehicles, just two we we'll do. Set line, new line, one, two, three. So what it's going to do is click up, pick up any steel, drop it off here. Um, any tools and construction stuff, drop it off here, head up to here, grab coal and bring it down. And then it'll just make that loop over and over again. Now we've got that started, we want to build a shipyard. And we're going to stick it just here. We're actually going to stick another shipyard just up here. Even though we're only going to build a couple of ships, they're really slow and when we need to replace them, and stuff, it's just a lot easier if we can get them into the docks nice and quick. Uh, I'm even going to stick one up here. Just like so. While we're here, I'm going to grab the bulldozer. I'm going to knock out this road. Build another road coming out. And connect it. We want the iron ore connected, but not the stone. We don't want any stone getting in our network. It will just cause chaos. Um, so you, by clicking on this, you can see only one building is highlighted, which is perfect. The reason we don't want any stone is we want to use the slag from here. If we use the slag, not only does it pay more, we get twice as much steel. So let's get the ship started. Buy a ship. Buy. Set line. New line. And it's just going to go in a big circle. One, two, three. What that's going to do is any uh, steel and stuff, it's going to pick up, drop off, or like construction materials, it's going to be a circle, iron ore, pick up, drop down here, and pick up anything from here that needs to come up here for processing. What we can do is just jump the triple time. In front of this farm here, we want to build another road vehicle truck station. Just want to drop it in here. See, it's only 18,000. You don't want to accidentally build it on top of farmland like that. It's really expensive. You can try and squeeze it down, which is fine, as long as you don't knock out any farmland. Right here, we want to build another truck station. And I like to make sure I build this up the road a bit, because if you go too close, you can see these buildings will highlight. And I just don't want to give it any uh, chance whatsoever to um, deliver stuff here by accident. So now we've just found out there's no oil on the map and we have to deliver wheat over here. We can't do that until we get another cargo ship unlocked. Right, road vehicles. Let's drop down a depot. That can just go here. Buy road vehicles. We just want to grab two. Set line, new line, just between here and here. What that one's going to do is 
bring cattle down for slaughter, and then bring food back. We're going to grab another depot while we're at it. We'll whack it just here. Just out the way. We want to build another truck station. And we want to stick this one as close behind this as we can. Right here. We need to build a road across because if we click this, you can see that's not highlighted. The ship can't see it. Instead of shipping it, you just build a road cutting the corner as close as you can. Like so. And now you'll see that's highlighted. So we don't have to use any vehicles to move stuff. We still need a truck station here for food and construction materials and stuff getting shipped around. Everything's looking hunky dory. Right. We need to click here, buy road vehicles, one, two, three, four, or the last four that we can build. We want to set the line, new line, and we want to go one, two, three, and the farm is the fourth one. While we're here, we're going to, as you can see, this road is already chock and block, and it's going to cause chaos with your vehicles. You want to grab road and you want to try and make a shortcut road. Sort of like that. Try and keep it fairly straight. Because you want to make it shorter than this road so the computer's vehicles will prefer this road. Like so and we're just going to connect it to there. So if we just watch it for a sec should see a bunch of vehicles all start making their way around and hopefully start wanting to use this road. Here we go. So every vehicle we can get to use this road is one less using this road. So you can already see the traffic should automatically start thinning out and that's looking better. Uh, another thing you can do is just here, just jump a road across just to help motivate them to use this road. Ah, <laughs> I like it when the towns upgrade roads, saves you a bit of money. Right, that's looking good. Next we need to build a bus network over here. So vehicles, bus, we want to build a bus stop right up the end here, because we're going to put a train station there. And then loop them all the way around, just in town, making uh, plenty of stops. Stick one here. I'm going to run one right up here because we have to drop passengers off up there. One here, and I might even stick one halfway down. We're slowly unlocking missions, which is great. We want to click on the depot, buy road vehicles. We need a bus, grab two. Set line, new line, and just go in a big circle. One, two, three, four, six. Seven. As you can see, I paid attention to what side I put them on so that there's no weird crossover loops around blocks and that. It's always important to do that. I'm now going to jump over to here and do the exact same thing. The train station's already here, which is handy. So we need bus stops. Put one right next to it. And then start putting them around town. So one, two... Three. This one doesn't need as many. Four. That one got. Yeah, it's quite a lot of town. You don't have to get all of it. It just has to be good enough. And while we're here, we need a truck stop. A depot, sorry. And we're going to whack it just on the end here. Just out the way. Buy road vehicles. Grab two buses. Set line. New line. One, two, three, four, five. Once again, making sure it's a nice clean loop. That looks good to me. Up here, we already have the depot, so we don't have to build one. We just have to build the bus stops. The train, we're going to build right here. So I like to whack one right there. 
and then once again around town one two three and right here so the bus can come up and along this one we can't actually build the buses yet as we've only got a maximum of four buses allowed right we should be able to already start building the railway line so let's get that started standard tracks will do and you just want to build nice little short sections and connect this up while we're here right after where these two connect you just want to curl it out and curl it around like so from here we need to connect it back on let's make sure it connected properly and we want it once again go around the farmland the price goes significantly higher as soon as you touch the farmland like so and connect so this one goes straight through we need train, we want a train station, but we want the one with the uh, stations at the end of the platform. And you want to stick it in here as close as you can, like so. Train tracks, and just connect it up. Up the top here, in this one, let's build the train station. So train, this one we want to move the side exit. Rotate it around, and just stick it like so. And then we need to build train tracks coming down, just sort of diagonally down like so. If you want, jump down to here and run them up. Whichever's easier. That looks pretty good to me. Right, we're just gonna make sure the game's still on triple time. Everything's looking nice. And there's not actually much left we can do at the moment other than just wait for things to unlock and as soon as things unlock we can get on to the next step. Alright, we've just got some more buses and trucks available. Outstanding. What I like to do is drop some more straight onto this network. So I just click on here, buy road vehicles. We'll whack another four on three, four, and close that. Set line, and just look for the right one. Done. We need to get as much food and wheat and stuff up here as we can. We can now build another cargo ship. This one, we want to buy a ship, buy, and we're going to set the line, new line, and it's going between here and here. Close, close. That's all good. We can also build some more buses so we can actually do this town now. Buy road vehicles, grab two buses, set line, new line and just a big circle. One, two, three, four, five. Close, close. So now they're on their way and all the buses should start coming along nicely. As you can see, the traffic's really thinned out because the majority of them are going on our new road now. So our vehicles, here's one traveling along, are gonna cruise at full speed and not suck in traffic jams. What we're gonna do now is just have a look and see how the network is doing. The only thing I can think of is possibly add one more bus onto here now by road vehicles, by set line, and we just want to find the bus line, run. Uh, just because we want to get as many passengers up as possible, don't worry if some of your lines are losing money. Uh, they will slowly make money. Some of them will make a lot more than others. Uh, the boats fluctuate like crazy. But yeah, apart from that, I, I wouldn't stress too much. Uh, there's very little we can do now. Uh, we're just going to sit and fast forward and wait until uh, everything else is unlocked. Okay, we've done the snack bar. What that's done is unlock the train. That's what we want to do. 
zoom into up here. We need to build a train depot. I didn't actually mean to do that. I'll just delete that. Oh, that was a waste of money. Train depot. Rotate around. Click on here. We need to open up our finances. We need to borrow some money. We need at least nine million. So bump it up about ten. Buy trains. We want this train, and we want all four locomotives. It's the most um, carriages. It's the most we can carry. Set line, new line. Just one, two, three. That should get on its way. And that actually makes a fair bit of money. Not a lot, a lot, but it makes quite a lot. Now that's done, what I'm going to do is up here, I'm going to build another vehicle, buy road vehicles. I'm actually going to buy two. Set line, new line, and they're just going to go between these two. There's been a little bit of a backlog, and I just want to get rid of that while we can. One thing we've got to keep an eye on is the date. Ooh, outstanding. We've got some more buses and trucks. One thing we want to keep our eye on is make sure no vehicles get 10 years old or older. So that's one that we need to do right now is click on the information. You want to click vehicles and sort by age. So the oldest is six years. We just really want to keep an eye on that. So what I like to do is just go line one, replacement, click on here, uh, what is it, it's a cargo, cargo, okay, auto replace, 25%, close. Line two, ships, uh, we can't do, uh, we always have our ship line maxed out and that's the, yeah, you can't auto renew if you've got maxed out ships, but I'll set it anyway, but We'll have to manually keep checking that. Ship, okay, on, 25%. Line three, replacement, on, vehicles, on, 25%. Four, replacement, set. Sometimes I wish there was a, a quick way of doing this. It, it's not too bad. It's just, if you have a lot of lines, it can just take a while. So don't forget to turn it on. Five is buses. Replacement. Bus. Okay. On. 25%. Line five is buses. Line six is buses. So replacement. Buses again. On. 25%. Line seven is a ship. Is it gonna let us? Okay. On 25%. Uh, I should really put an order. Of. So six, seven, eight it's buses, replacement. Nine is a train, uh, which we won't be able to do this. See, because the game has a maximum of one, so when you give us the option of telling it to build a new one. Uh, and line 10, replacement. Trucks on 25%. So, ah. So we finished doing the wheat, so we're going to start getting plastic now. That's going to start coming down, and we're going to make a nice little chunk of money from that. What we're going to do is we're going to buy a new ship. Buy. Set line, and we just want the first one looping all the way around. So that's looking good, and there's actually quite a nice big backlog here. As soon as we can, we want to build another ship to try and get rid of that. So we got 1.5 million, let's click the question mark, $1 million to salvage, it's probably going to tell us we're bankrupt soon, but that's okay, 
there we go. We'll give us $4 million. There's no penalty in this mission for taking the money. Buy another one, because we raced it before, because we raced the sunken ship. Set line, and on the same line. We really need to get this iron ore down, and we really need to get all this slag and steel out. Um, all this construction material is going to make the airports operational again. So everything's looking good. So the only thing we need to do now, we'll concentrate on, is the earn 3 million. Uh, it should happen. Uh, it doesn't have to be a profit 3 million. You just have to make 3 million. So like last year, 2.51. Uh, there's a good chance we might get it this year, if not next year. What we're going to go for though is a train with a rail higher than 200 meters. So if you click on here, you can look at elevation. As you can see, the little lines are 10 meters, the medium lines are 50 meters, the thick lines are 100 meters. The th first thick line is already at the coastline. You are already 100 meters up, so you only need to go up another 100. So there's a 50 line, that's a 100 line right here. So you don't need to get to the tip just here. This hill I find has been the easiest to get up and down because these ones are just really steep and train lines you can't build that steep. So just off to one side here you want to split it off like so just to like that Tell it we want to start building upwards, like so. And we just want to make our way up the hill. You can't go too steep, it'll start cutting in, too expensive. So just ride the outside the best you can. I'll try and follow the contour. Like so. It curves out a bit. You want to follow it around. Start making your way back in. So we just got the three million. So that was easy enough. As you can see, we've just passed the line. Like so. What we want to do now is just click this so we'll start doing it automatically again. Cancel. And now we can try and start making our way back down the hill. And it's no easy feat. It's quite a long way down. So what we want to do is go like that. Like so. Uh, sometimes I try and come down here. And other times I just keep zigzagging my way down. Like so, because otherwise it just gets too expensive and you'll send yourself broke. Like so, sometimes the trees just make it a little bit hard, but if you want to know what it looks like, just move it around and you can see how the contours look. Try and swing it around again, start heading back, as long as you're heading downhill. That was a bit flat. That's alright, coming down the hill. If it ever goes like that, you can tell it to build a big dirt mound, it's way cheaper. Wait, yes it's uglier, but we're on a budget. So, it looks like I can... What I'm going to do now is just start building a big mound coming out. We're close enough to the bottom, and you want to start curving it head up and connect. Make sure it connected, it did. So as you can see, it zigzags up the hill and then comes back down. We're going to grab the bulldozer and delete a little bit of track from the center. When the train now comes, it'll be forced to go up the hill. So we'll just open this up and we'll keep it there. This is all looking good. Let's get the other two sunken ships while we're at it. 
there's a sunken ship here. Click, salvage, and one more right over here. Salvage. So that was another two million. That's all looking good. What's it complaining about? Food processing plant. Try to ship more goods. That's all right. This is because we've got a backlog. What we can do is just grab some more vehicles. There's a depot. Buy. Open. Let's grab another six. Set line. And where's the food one? There it is. Close that. And that will be all good. So the train's making its way up the hill in a split second. It crosses that back line, we should get a gold medal. Done. So there's our 200 meters. What we can now do is close that and reconnect this track. Like I say, you don't want to keep sending the train that way. It costs a fortune and the passengers get pissed off. They want to take nice, quick, efficient transport. Everything's looking all hunky-dory. Let's check this. So all we have to do is make sure nothing is over the 10 years. And nothing should be. Everything should be auto-renewing. I don't know why the ship hasn't. Let's have a look. What we're going to do is sell. We want to get rid of that ship. The split second it hits 10 years, you fail. It's got to be less than 10 years. Uh, I said before that the ships can be finicky. That's why you just got to keep manually checking. They don't always renew for some reason. So as soon as it goes in... Sold. Then what we want to do is click on here, buy a ship, we'll buy a new one. We want to set the line. Close this. Set the line and back it back onto the line 2, which is what it was on. Let's have a little look. Any other vehicles getting a bit old? Line 6 is, but these should be, if you click details, you can see what our replacement's on. So they should fix themselves shortly at seven and a half years old. We can close this. We don't need it anymore. Uh, let's look at our metals. So we're good on that. And we need to finish before 1975. All we need to do that is make the airports operational. Uh, everything we've done should uh, be working good enough. All the construction materials are here. They should slowly start making their way around uh, to speed it along a bit. Let's buy some more ships. Buy, buy. Set line, line two. We just really want to try and get as much as we can looping around. We need all this uh, slag and the steel getting up. So that's it. We've just got to sit on fast forward. Let's take the loan. And now we'll sit on fast forward. Don't forget to periodically check and make sure nothing's getting too old. While you're waiting for time to pass, you might as well just keep it open. Right, the airport's now operational. So we've got all the stuff done, make construction possible, 
Um, we don't actually need to finish that. It's not important. So what we're going to do now is click on here. Um, and all we have to do is oh, create a new airline. So, sorry, I don't want to upgrade it. There we are. Buy aircraft. Just grab one. Set line. New line. One. And two. That's all five gold medals done. Uh, as you see, we didn't even have to do all the side quests. They don't matter. Uh, just the top ones are all you have to do. If you have any questions, just feel free to ask. And thanks for watching my walkthrough.